Hello guys, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome back to the channel. If you are on this channel and you yet have not yet subscribed to this channel, please, if you willingly want to or so kind um, and interested and interested in Anastasia Garadelli's videos, 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 please subscribe. Reach over there and hit the notification bell so that you, 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 and you can be notified of all of Anastasia Garadelli's world's videos. So welcome, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I am not going to hold you before long. Um, I just want to come in just with a sort of a kind of a, um, if you will, you know, you want to call it a topic. Hold on, guys. Let me turn the mic up a little bit. It uh, seems to be a little low here. Mm, hello, 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 hello. Oh, there we have it, guys. <laughs> so, yes, I wanted to speak about a topic today, a short topic, not too long of a topic. I wanted to speak in reference to, or let's just better say not in reference to, but better yet about Adrian Slays. Now, I know that we all come on here from time to time and we speak as uh a variety of things on our channel, but, you know, on some channels, you know, multiple times, you know, they're speaking about the same person, you know, I find her very interesting because she's, you know, she's, a she's nothing but, you know, compulsive liar. She's just illiterate, you know, you know, Adrian Slay. Now, what I wanted to speak about today, guys. Oh, and hi, my yum yums. Hi. Hi, I hope all is well with each and every one of you. I love my yum yums to the fullest. Welcome, guys, to the channel. So I wanted to speak about this uh, this uh, this theory series about Adrian Slays um, proclaiming that she had nothing, absolutely nothing to do uh, with this gentleman. Um, I'm not familiar with him at all, but I think I heard his name maybe a couple of times. Uh, Oh, excuse me, guys. I, I'm not tired. I rest. Um, his name was Killer Killer or something like that. So that goes to tell you I'm not really familiar with the man. But I wanted to speak a little bit about that. Now, here is here, here is my thing, guys. Adrian proclaimed that uh, at one point of view um, that this gentleman... All of a sudden, yum yums, and whoever is watching the channel, all of a sudden, this 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 gentleman just comes out, out of nowhere, just out of the bushes, out of listen from behind the tree, you know, behind the stones, the rocks, or whatever, you know, um, and just all of a sudden, just reaches out to Adrian, okay, and hold on, guys. Reaches out to Adrian about Miss Beloved Life. Now, let me tell you this. Not that Beloved Life gives two dams about me. Beloved Life gives two dams about you. Or uh, Beloved Life gives two dams about her and anyone else. And, you know, she has the right to feel the way that she feels towards Adrian. Because Adrian has done some. Man, had this lady done some stuff to her sister that is just beyond measure. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just don't do things like this. You know, let me tell you how things, let me tell you how people can just do some of the most illiterate SHIT to you out of envious and jealousy. Out of envious and jealousy. And you know, my mama used to tell me, she said, Martha, and that's my government name, Martha. You know, jealousy can be a mother effing flipping trip. And you guys get me when I say a mother effing flipping trip. I ain't gonna say the word now. I don't wanna get I don't wanna get marked for it. You know what I mean? I don't wanna get a strike. But she said, you know, honey, sometimes you can have the least, the littlest, just just the tiniest thing. And you know that you can be envious of and you know that you can be hated on just for just the littlest thing that you have and don't you dare don't you dare accomplish and achieve anything in life because when you accomplish and achieve anything in life beyond what that little teeny little tiny little thing that you had but you made that little teeny little tiny thing progress and grow 
and turn into a major, major thing, that's when it's going to really hit the fan. You're going to have enemies that's coming out the wall. And guess what, guys? Those ones that proceed to be around you when you were younger or maybe, you know, proceed to be around you when you really didn't have anything. But that little teeny tiny thing, that's where the jealousy begins. If you agree, leave your comment down below. If you disagree, leave your comment down below. You can have the least, the tiniest thing, and you are envious of. You can have, let's just say, you know, you like to keep your hair done. And you these people that you affiliate yourself with and you be around with, you be so surprised how envious and jealous how they are towards you and about you. Uh, excuse me and watch yourself yes you best believe watch yourself because you cannot under no circumstance trust anyone everyone and anybody in this life and in this world because you don't know what you don't know what they have in store for you all you know is that you're thinking that this is my ride or die this is my homie this is my friend this is my pal they got my back but baby beyond measure that's a no from me and it's definitely a no for you. So where I am going with this, as far as Adrian Slay, Beloved's life sister, is concerned. When Beloved was not necessarily at the bottom, but Beloved was not truly at the bottom. Beloved had a daycare center. Beloved was doing good with her daycare center. And I guess, you know, it, maybe it became too much for her and she wanted to sell the business. I don't know. You know, I don't know how she proceeded to do her thing as far as her daycare center. She used her mind for more than a hat rack, guys. She wanted to achieve and accomplish and build a foundation, an empire. She wanted to be better in what she do. And so she took that initiative to tell her husband, hey, Nate, I want to be a YouTuber. I, you know, Mr. Nate might have looked at her like, uh, what? I want to be a YouTube, a YouTuber. And she became a professional YouTuber. She became the seafood boil queen YouTuber. She's building her empire. She has her own factory. She's get, she's making her own money. She's doing it. And I and I give her that. I give her a kudos on that. Now, when she didn't have all of that, if you guys noticed that Adrian was doing collabs with her sister, Adrian did this big seafood boil for her sister, which I believe truly believe that beloved sent her that money, trying to help her, trying to stick in her corner, trying to be there for her. And uh, when Beloved sent that money to her, she just wanted to go all out to, to, to prove a point in a case to her. Cut up what ups. She bought all this seafood, had trillions and billions and quadruple thousands and billions of flies in her house. I believe I said that twice. <sighs> Excuse me. Flies were all over the place, guys. All over the place, honey. Miss Beloved, you know, she was there. She ate some of the food and... I don't know if I could have did it, guys. <laughs> Adrian was flopping, swapping flies and stuff. And then she invited these other people over that was not even supposed to be there. It was just supposed to have been her and her sister beloved. You see my light on my mic, my, my, guys? I don't want to start it in y'all face. But unfortunately, that's not the way it, it turned out. The way it turned out is that Adrian was there and Adrian invited a couple of other people over. Then now, beyond measure, that... After they did the seafood boil, after uh, Adrian done went to the back like several times, probably went back there to take a little pop, you know what I'm saying? Like a little bit of the, 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 the shoe strain, you know, we call it the shoe strain over here, you know, when you, you know, take that little puff, you know, and maybe something else that she might have been doing back there in the kitchen or whatever the means may be to each his own. Hey, I don't discriminate. Whatever she do, that's her business. That's her life. If that's what she chooses to do. So she comes out and she flopping flies and flies and everything and killing flies. Now, do you know, guys, I would not have even touched a, not another grain of that food after she done flops flies and, and stuff. 
Now, I want to know, like, did this last time did she go back to the kitchen and she washed her hands and she sanitized her hands? And, Miss Beloved, you're standing up there and you're eating that food and flies is everywhere, all over the sausages, the eggs, the shrimps, the everything. You know they say flies are very nasty and very dirty. They they they, they land on anything. They land on poop. They land on on on, on oh deceased animals. They they land everywhere. And they do give worms. Okay. Now, with that being said, when Bilal wasn't doing the most, you did collapse with her. When Bilal wasn't really doing the most, you guys did a um a collab a collaboration out in a park somewhere when Miss Bilal wasn't doing the most. You guys did a collab when y'all went over to Adrian's mother's house before this place that she has now, and her and Beloved was sitting there and they was doing a um a collaboration, a seafood collaboration when uh, Adrian had that blonde hair in her head. Now, if you look at each and every one of those videos, guys, whether Beloved was not doing the most then, but doing the most now, which meaning that building a foundation, a, an, an empire, you know what I mean? You could see that there was envious and hatred and jealousy in her then. But Adrian was trying to override Beloved life. Adrian feels as though and thought that she was going to be the one that was going to be the quote, the big Samaritan of it all. But see, that's not how things work its way out. God has a, a job for each and every one of us to do. Okay. God makes things the way that he wants them to be. If, if it was meant for you to be a singer, you won't be that singer. Now, I do say that I should have been that singer, you know, but I had to work it. I could not put it all on God because I had to work to build that empire. I had to work to build that, establish that, that singing career, but I didn't. I didn't. If I would have went on and tried to pursue it, I might have been there, might have. Now, sometimes, you know, it, it, it doesn't work that way. Some people, some producers may like you and some producers may not like you. But with Adrian's slaves, you know, let's get back to the killer killer part of the, the gentleman name. I don't know why he named himself killer killer. That's just, it's just, it just, it just sends chills through my body. It's just so annoying that this man would name himself that. Like that's, that's very, very, very annoying. But at any rate, she said that this guy reached out to her because he was trying to, um, I guess produce this product or whatever. I don't know. I can't remember the story directly uh, about some shirts or something that he was trying to um, get out there, you know, to, to try to um, establish his business or something. And he wanted beloved life help and everything of that sort. Okay. So maybe it was a situation where beloved and him may have had a rendezvous back in the day. Back, 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 back in the day. Not when her and Mr. Nate became husband and wives. You see? So, now, Adrian, I'm going to say you put some emphasis on that as well because you said that this gentleman reached out to you and I don't know who this man is. I just know, you know, they say his name is Killer Killer. So I can't speak negativity on him because I don't, I, I, I am not familiar with him. I'm familiar with Adrian Slay. And I'm very familiar with Adrian Slay, how she can be a compulsive liar and how she could just take things and twist it and turn it around to make it her. You know what I mean? To make it, you know, make it her story. Now, you say that this gentleman reached out to you. OK, you said that this gentleman reached out to you through an email. All right. Here, here, here's the thing. If this gentleman reached out to you. Adrian, <laughs> and this was way back in the day, Adrian. So maybe Killer Killer might have seen a couple of your videos and then he probably, you know, said something in your comment down below and said, you know, I need you to contact me, you know, send me your email. And so he gave her his email. I don't know how, I don't know how direct they did that thing, but if you did not want to hurt your sister under no circumstance and no kind of way, no form or fashion, when that man reached out to you and said that he has a tape on your sister and that he sent that tape to you and that you sent that tape immediately to Miss Beloved, 
uh, excuse me. My honest opinion, I don't think that you send that tape to her to to inform her or to warn her, hey, this is this, this is that. Because I feel as though if that was the case, I think all of that would have hit the fan by now and it would have been exposure. It would have been exposure. It would have hit the tabloids or whatever the means may be. I truly don't believe none of what she says is true. She says she sent beloved the video. Now, I'm not saying this and I'm not trying to chase clout. I'm not trying to get a money bag. I'm not trying to get more subscribers or views. I'm just putting my story out there. What I think, my opinion, my definitely opinion on this. Now, if this gentleman supposedly have this video about this woman and you want to get revenge on her, sir, why didn't you just go ahead and then expose it, put it out there? So all the tap, you know, the tabloids can see this if this is supposed to be true about beloved. But let me tell you how karma can come back on you to bite you in your ASS. And that's exactly what karma is doing. Now, Adrian proclaimed, you know, don't put me up in that. That was then. This is now. I ain't got nothing to do with it. You start it. You said you didn't start this mess. You started all of this mess. Being envious, naive, jealous, hating on your sister. On her husband. On her children. On her business. On her lifestyle, but you yet say you're living your best life. Girl, let me tell you something. <laughs> if that's living your best life, your best life is flipped up. If that's living your best life, Adrian, your life is flirted up. Because living your best life is not in your cartment. You understand? Living your life, it's not li living your life. It's not flopping from pillar to post, from place to place, from people to strangers and stuff, sleeping in their homes, in their apartments, in their houses, and you don't even know them like that. And then get there and then eat up all the people's food. Living your best life is not when you left Florida and you went back to visit your mother and Aunt Raynette and all the above. And then you carry your ASS back over to Florida knowing that you don't have a place to call your own girlfriend. But yet you say it's living your best life. Hmm. Somebody tell me. Now, the little leprechaun, the little leprechaun, did y'all see what the little leprechaun in the car? Hey, little leprechaun, I think his name was Jeff or something like that. But Mr. Jeffrey on the tutu boat, on the tutu boat. Mr. Jeffrey on the tutu boat, I think Mr. Jeffrey on the tutu boat had enough. Now, she sat up there and she lied and she said that she had to go outside Mr. Jeffrey head on the tutu boat. That's a Jamaican man, baby. They don't play with you. Don't play with it. You cannot walk around this world, Adrian, with this, this animosity, you know, with this thuggish thoughts and manipulation that you can just beat everybody ASS honey because guess what all they got to do is take a board and slam you across them knees with it and you will drop like a hot cake you call this living your best life sitting before the camera and lying to your cut ups and telling them that you had a CNA job which you didn't have that you sit here before the camera and you lie to your cut ups, what ups, flood ups, flood ups that you're trying to accomplish and achieve and trying to find you a job and trying to better yourself. Girl, let me tell you something. First and foremost, it's cold out there. Now, I don't know the temperature over in Florida, but you need to get your life, your priorities together because flopping from pillar to post ain't getting it, sis. It ain't getting it, sis. And people are catching on to your BS and your manipulation and your using. And they're turning you down.